Welcome to our guide video about tooth implant procedures. Before undergoing a tooth implant procedure, it's important to know what to expect. Learn more about the procedure, materials, healing time, and inconvenience. We'll also discuss the pros and cons of the procedure. To help you make a decision, we've compiled a guide to tooth implant procedures. It's time to put your dental health back in your hands. Keep watching for more information. Then, make an appointment with a cosmetic dentist to learn more. Procedures Tooth implant surgery involves several steps. The first procedure involves cutting a small incision in the gums to expose the implant. The next step is to insert a small piece called an abutment, which is attached to a metal post. Once implanted, the abutment will support the new tooth. This component is visible when you open your mouth. In some cases, you may want to have a separate abutment attached to the implant. After the implant placement, the dentist will take an impression of your mouth. The dentist will use this impression to build a stable foundation for your new teeth. Afterward, he will make an artificial tooth that screws into the foundation. The procedure may involve several visits to the dentist, including x-rays. Although minor, some dental implant procedures may cause pain and bruises. The gums may also swell, causing bleeding. After the procedure, patients should avoid hard foods until they have fully healed. The next step is implantation. The dentist will make sure that the implant is fused with the bone. After the surgery, the patient will have to wear an abutment for 7 to 14 days. This helps the gums heal around the new tooth. The implant will be attached to an abutment, which is a post that connects the replacement tooth to the implant. In some cases, a temporary crown may be placed on the implant until the jawbone has healed enough. Once the graft has healed, the dentist can add the dental implant to the jawbone. This will help the jawbone grow around the implant, and the abutment will attach the crown to the implant. The abutment will need to be tightened after the implant placement for stability. The healing process may take between 3 to 9 months. A temporary crown will be placed over the area before the abutment is attached. Materials Various materials are used to make dental implants, including zirconia and titanium. Choosing the right material for your dental implant depends on several factors, including your age, general health, and how frequently you clean it. You can also limit the lifespan of your new teeth implant by grinding your teeth and smoking. These two habits can cause your implant to discolor or become damaged. Fortunately, there are several options for dental implant materials available today. Among the many implant materials available, biomaterials are one of the most important. The physical and chemical properties of these materials determine the success or failure of implant therapy. Biocompatible materials should have adequate toughness, strength, and corrosion resistance. Implant design should also be compatible with the material's mechanical and biochemical properties. This video will give you the information you need to make the right choice for your needs. For more information, watch the rest of the video. Generally, the best materials for tooth implants are made from titanium. There are two main types of titanium, pure titanium and alloy titanium. Pure titanium has trace elements, but these elements help improve the mechanical qualities of the material. In addition, titanium alloys contain other metals such as aluminum and vanadium to increase their strength and durability. The titanium alloys are usually heat treated to increase their strength and ductility. The final material used in dental implants should have a high yield strength, so it does not fracture under cyclic loading. Titanium has been the standard material for dental implants for decades, but new materials like zirconia are becoming popular. Zirconia implants can be inserted in one dental session. Both zirconia and titanium implants are highly biocompatible. All dental implant materials undergo extensive research and testing to ensure their suitability for a patient's needs. Moreover, they must resist fracturing, corrosion, and other common conditions. Healing Time Following a dental implant procedure, you should take one to two days off from work. You should also stay away from strenuous activities and chew only soft foods. You may also experience some soreness around the implant site. After the first few days, you can resume normal activities. 7 to 14 days after the procedure, you can resume your normal activities. Your implant will require daily brushing and flossing. 
If you are unable to do these, you should consult your dentist for additional instructions. Once your implant has been placed, your body will need time to integrate the donor bone with your jaw. The healing time for tooth implant varies depending on the individual patient and the condition of their body. In some cases, the implant may be loaded immediately after surgery. However, in most cases, the healing time for the implant depends on several factors, including the quality of the patient's bone and whether he or she needs bone grafts. The healing process will be longer if multiple implants are required. Throughout the healing process, you must take good care of yourself. Chlorhexidine mouthwash is a good choice after your dental surgery. Afterward, warm salt water rinses are recommended four or five times a day, and you should use them after every meal. To clean the implant site, avoid swishing vigorously with mouthwash. After the initial few days, you can resume brushing and flossing your teeth. Recovery time for a tooth implant is an important consideration for patients. Although it varies from patient to patient, the average healing time for dental implants is 6 to 8 months. Recovery time may be longer if you have multiple implants, or if you undergo bone grafts. Additionally, you must ensure that your jawbone is dense enough to support the implant. However, if your jawbone is too thin or has been affected by another oral disorder, your doctor may need to use a different method to replace your missing teeth. Inconvenience Dental implants are permanent and require a period of healing. The process can take several months, including visits to a dental office, multiple surgical procedures, and healing time. Additionally, this procedure carries risks of anesthesia and infection. While the benefits of tooth implants are great, some patients prefer to wear removable appliances. Here are some of the disadvantages of tooth implants. They may not be for everyone. You should always discuss any dental problems with your dentist before choosing this procedure. Most patients experience some swelling and soreness after dental surgery. While this is normal, you should avoid eating hard or chewy foods for the first week after the procedure. However, if swelling and pain persist beyond the first week, you should see a dentist. Proper follow-up can prevent complications and ensure a successful outcome. It is important to follow all instructions carefully to ensure that your dental implant is functioning properly. Another disadvantage is the cost. While tooth implants are permanent, they require several visits over an extended period of time. This is because the implants need to heal before a crown is placed on top. Compared to bridge work or dentures, dental implants are more expensive in the long run. The procedure can also take longer than a traditional tooth bridge. If you're worried about the cost, consider a bridge or denture. The cost of dental implants may be more expensive than other types of restoration, but many people find that the expense is worth the results. Implants rarely need replacement or repair, so it may not be necessary to pay a huge amount in the beginning. Even though dental implants may cost more, the cost is recouped in just a few years. You'll also be able to claim insurance for your dental work, and many dental practices offer to finance. Cost The cost of a tooth implant varies depending on several factors. First, you need to have sufficient bone matter for the procedure. A bone graft may be needed if you have lost your bone. However, most insurance providers will cover at least 80% of the cost. Therefore, there are many options for financing. You can also apply for a dental loan or workout payment plans with your dentist. Then, make sure you shop around for the best price. You can also find a dentist at a dental school who offers discounted prices for these procedures. Another factor to consider when determining the cost of a tooth implant is the number of teeth you need to replace. A single implant costs between $1,500 and $2,800. The cost of an office visit can also be expensive. You should budget up to $3,000 to pay for multiple teeth implants. However, this cost may vary depending on your needs and other expenses. To determine the exact amount of your treatment, consult your dentist before scheduling an appointment. Then, consider the pros and cons of tooth implants. The pros of these implants are well worth the cost, especially when you consider the benefits they offer. However, if you have multiple cavities, you may want to opt for a root canal with a crown. A veneer is another option. Bridges and dentures are another way to replace missing teeth. If you are suffering from severe pain or are a victim of domestic abuse, you may also be able to get the procedure for free. 
Some procedures require a bone graft. This can be done either before or after the placement of the implant. This procedure involves the use of materials that stimulate the bone to fill the empty socket. It promotes bone healing and supports blood clotting. The costs of bone grafts will vary. It may cost anywhere from $200 to $1,600 depending on how many sites are involved. You should consider the cost of the procedure before you decide to proceed. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more.